I mean, you go through all the injuries. And then what, what was it like? I mean, was it we're about a year plus ago? You're out of the league, right? I mean, about yeah, a no, yeah, yeah. No, that was a uh, – it, it was a – that was a really, really hard time for me. You know, I, I went through a lot. I, I've overcome, you know, so much. You know, I, I went through mental health issues, you know, depression. I went through, you know, just because, you know, my mind was telling me, you know, to do something what my body couldn't do. You know I mean? I, I remember there was times where I, you know, I, I you know, didn't want to leave my bed, you know, didn't want to do anything. And then, you know, it, it took a lot of work, you know, just to, you know, to, to feel good about myself, to be confident again. And, and you know, it, to, to appreciate the game, you know, I felt like I was getting the raw end of the deal in a lot of situations, um, you know, with injuries, with, you know, being in positions I was on the, in the court, you know, I found myself, you know, kind of, you know, pointing the finger, like, you know, I've been through this, I've been through that, you know what I mean? And not taking, you know, accountability on, you know, what I can do to get back. And, you know, once that switch flipped on, uh, you know, okay, you know, I want to get back, I want to be the best player I can be, um, you know, I, you know, things started, you know, going well for me, you know, you know, when I got released from Houston, it was, you know, it was tough, you know, my, uh, my girlfriend and my baby, you know, you know, I had issues with, you know, with her, you know, they, they ended up leaving, you know, was an unhealthy human being so I got I got cut from my team I was out the lead they had left the house and so that was like ground zero for me you know mm -hmm. and you know once I you know hit that moment you know I kind of had to you know figure out you know, what do I want to what do I want to do what do I want to be who do I want to be you know what do I see myself in five years and you know I you know worked my ass off you know since the you know I took like a week from from when you know just to you know you know, cry, you know, you know, get a, get everything out. And then uh, after that, you know, I just put my head down and just decided I was just going to work as hard as I possibly can. And, you know, if I was going to go out the league, if I was going to be out the league, you know, it was going to be, you know, I worked my hardest, you know, there's nothing I could do. Um, but I just, you know, I, now that I see, you know, you know, what I can, I can do on the floor, how hard I can work, you know, I, I really think this is just the beginning for me. Well, that, that's good to hear. And you made an allusion to the mental health situation in general. And the, with Kevin Love in the forefront and others have been willing now to share their experience in there. And, and uh, it, I, it, this is really a big development in all pro, pro sports that, that anybody to, to shed light on this issue, you know. And, and, yeah, and no, I think the sure. public needs to know that you guys aren't robots. And, and you may be gifted athletes, and you are gifted athletes, and, and we admire you for that. But people uh, then, as, you know, they make assumptions that they shouldn't make about you as, as people. Now, yeah, I mean, no, you, sure. not, you, know, you, you athletes. No, 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 yeah, no, I get it. And, uh, yeah, it, it's hard, you know, because we're taught, you know, not to, you know, not to, you know, listen to what everyone says, not to do this. But in, in the world we live in now, you know, it's kind of almost impossible. You know, I hear all the time, you know, well, you know, what happened to Michael Carter Williams or, or people saying, you know, you had one good year or this and that, like, you know, over and over and over and over again, um, you know, different, you know, you know, people asking me, you know, what changed, you know, since Philly and this and that and not, and they don't know the ins and outs. They don't know everything. You know, they don't know the, you know, the injuries that I've had or the things that I've gone through or, or you know, the mental health issues that I've gone through. And so, you know, to hear that and see that and to, to, you know, people criticize you about something that you've been doing your whole life and something that you love, you know, it's hard, you know, it's hard for you to work so hard at something. And then for everyone around you telling you that not everyone around you, but you know what I mean? That, you know, media people like just saying that, like, you know, you're, you're not good at this and, and you've been doing it your whole life. And, and you have, and, I, and I, I'm someone who takes super pride in it. Like, right. Like if you sit here and tell me that, you know, I know the, the responsible thing to do is, you know, let it go one ear and out the other. It doesn't matter. People are going to talk. Good luck. You know, it, yeah, it, it, it does. You know, it, it gets you a little bit. Now I just use it for motivation. You know, I, I feel as though, like, my story can be so much greater because of the trials and tribulations that I've been through. Well, I think, again, being honest with it, right, being able to talk about it probably makes it a little bit easier for you, right? I mean, everything you went through, and, and I'm sure it's, it's easier now that you're back playing you're playing well. Your confidence probably is as high as it's been in, I don't know, since early Milwaukee days. Am I wrong? Oh, sure. 
for sure. Yeah, for sure. Even higher. I, you know, I, I really think that, like, you know, right now I, I, I'm the, the best I've ever been. Well, you are because, again, defensively, you're at a different level and you know you can do the same things offensively that you did early on in your career. You're just not getting the same opportunities necessarily uh, to play right. through as many mistakes. What, what was you, – you kind of alluded to it, some of the issues that you were going through when your, 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 your girlfriend – uh, and, and your baby moved out at that point. How did you, how did you get back? You, you kind of mentioned it a little bit there, but what did you do? Did you see somebody? Did, was it your, your family that helped you get back? What was that like? And now as a, as a father of a young child, what, what's it like now to, to kind of have your family back? Um, you know, it, it, it was hard. You know, I, I ended up seeing a therapist, um, you know, I, I don't think I – yeah, I, I, I saw a therapist. I can't remember exactly when. I, I believe, actually, it started – I started seeing a therapist when I got to Orlando, when I first got to Orlando. Um, but, you know, I, when I um, – no, actually, it was before. It was in California. Yep, I started seeing a therapist in California, then Orlando. But, you know, I, I was at a point where I was – you know, I was, I was working – like, I was going to go um, – LA Fitness. I was going to LA Fitness. I was working out. Um, I was playing there. Um, I met a guy. Um, I, I met a, uh, a trainer there named Dash. Um, you know, he started working me out. Uh, we built a friendship. We were just, you know, he was, you know, I was saying that I didn't have a job right now. We started working out every day. Um, I started doing my lifting every day by myself. And then I got the call from Orlando. Um, it, it was hard though. I had to do a lot of mental preparation. I was reading a lot. I got into, I remember I was just reading books about, you know, how I can be better as a, as a father, how I can be better as a, you know, a, a partner, um, how I can be better, you know, my mental. Um, I read David Goggins book, which was amazing. Can't hurt me. Are those um, birds. So, are those birds, yeah. Michael? Yeah. yeah. They, All they, right. they, they, Bob, the like, only reason I said it is because Bob's looking at his devices. I was worried. I thought it was coming I was from cool. him. I'm and sad. I knew it was birds. <laughs> okay, good. That's, I, love I don't know it. why they started going crazy. It was, it was just too funny to watch Bob looking at all his devices, thinking it was him. <laughs> no, I was no, no. Go ahead. I didn't uh, mean to interrupt you. That was, no, that was no, heavy, <laughs> heavy stuff. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I could see kind of where it was going. No, Go no, ahead. yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I remember, you know, I was reading that book, and um, it really inspired me. Um, it was a really inspirational book. It just want, it just made me kind of put my head down and, and, and just work really hard. And then I was fortunate enough to get another shot at, you know, playing in Orlando. And I, I, I was a 10 day. I was the most excited, you know, person in the world just for a 10 day. And give me a chance. Yeah. Just, you know, just to give me a, you know, give me a chance you know, I remember coach calling me, asked me if I was in shape, if I was ready to play. And I was like, I'm in, you know, I'm in, I'm in great shape. I'm ready to go. So, and then your yeah. family when? when oh, when also, get, uh, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, yeah, that, that was that was um, who man, uh, it's you know, it's it, it's been a long road. You know, uh, we uh, her and I, T and I, weren't together for you know a year and a half. Um, you know, and then you know she decided she wanted to work things out with me. She could see that you know I was you know I was healthy. Um, you know I you know I was telling her you know I was committed you know, to our relationship that I, you know, wouldn't step out on our relationship. And, um, you know, she could see that, you know, I was true to that. And um, she saw the work that, you know, I was doing and, and, and putting in to, to be better as a person and to, to be healthy uh, mentally, um, you know, and yeah, you know, it's been the, the best thing that's, that's, that's happened to me. That's awesome. Man. That's good. That's, 